What, you're saying I'm one of those knuckleheads, is that it? I wasn't, but, um, now that I think about it... Because I know lots of stuff. <clears throat> oh, please, drown me in your surplus of knowledge. I've been waiting all these years for a man as wise as you to take this job. Well, that wait's over, sweetheart. Uh, call me sweetheart again, and you'll use that big sexy brain of yours to fill out your unemployment paperwork. Sorry, boss. He was in the middle of really sprucing up the joint when they left. It's a little weird that he'd just leave so much of his stuff out here. Well, maybe they were in a hurry when they left. Like I said, he wasn't supposed to be out here. Yeah. I... Uh, they almost got busted. Brian liked to go out on the railing of the tower and wave at the planes that dump water on fires, and... Uh, I got a call because someone thought a kid was up in two forks. I lied. And just said it was Ned. If I ratted him out, they would have been forced to leave, and... I don't know, I guess I just felt like I was saving him from whatever shitty life Ned was gonna bring him back to. Not that it ended up mattering. Bunch of rocks stacked up, he made a wall and a perimeter. Oh, God. Yeah, that's, that's perfect. You know, maybe he made it because he was afraid of them. Uh, whenever I think of Brian possibly going through this crap, I get... I get sick to my stomach. Yeah. Uh, sorry. There's a busted old toy out here, some sort of electronic game. Yeah? I like Pong. Everybody likes Pong. Gosh, Brian had everything he loved out there. There's some grade A dork contraband here. You found his pocket protector? I found a, uh, I guess, a data sheet for one Gladius Silva, half-elf, armor seven. Classic wizards and wyverns. There's a ham radio schematic here, something Brian was working on? Yeah, uh, I think that was the one thing Ned did do with him, you know, tinkering on stuff like that. There's also a postcard here from Brian to, I guess, his neighbor. What's it say? That he's with his dad and sorry he can't mow his lawn this summer. Oh, gosh. And also he was worried his dad didn't know when school started. I'd say that's a lucky break if I were him. Huh. Brian stole his dad's climbing gear, his anchors. That's convenient. Yeah, it is. I think he was going to hide them in a cash box or something and never got around to it. I mean, he left a note for a ranger to find them and, and send them back to him in Nebraska. Because he hated climbing? Yeah. I mean, it sounds like Ned was pushing him, and pretending to lose his anchors was the easiest way to put a stop to it. <laughs> I hope it worked. God, what an asshole. Yeah. Man, that is the sort of thing that would have caused me to catch a beating growing up. Yeah, well, I wouldn't put it past old Ned. <laughs> Okay. Let's see if we can get... Of course. Of course I cannot get back into the freaking cave.
Yeah, man, good luck tomorrow, man. Yeah, well, maximum of one one more hour, and then I'm gonna. What do you think is in there? There's got to be something. Why else try to kill me? I don't know, really. I mean, we got to find out. What do you think? Whatever it is, they don't want you telling anyone about. And they closed the door when they could have just bashed your head in with a rock or chopped you up with a. Are you serious with this shit right now? Uh, a hatchet. Cut, are you sure you want to go back in there? Honestly, I just... I just want to know. I want to know what is worth doing everything that's been done to us. Yeah, me too. And not going to jail would be a nice kicker. Oh, uh, also... Those girls turned up. Looks like you didn't kill them. Nobody did. They took some farmer's tractor for a joyride down in Riverton and, uh, landed in jail. What the fuck? Damn it. Those girls really did a number on you, huh? No, I'm glad they're not dead, but it also means that they weren't a part of what's going on. Yeah, I suppose you're right. You just have to keep searching. Yeah. I thought I saw footprints, but it didn't. <laughs> 